Hi folks, hope you are fine and doing well today. U.S. Air Force Lieutenant General David Nahom warns Congress that Chinese Air Force's offensive capabilities are growing fast. Let's discuss this in detail, and you are watching Defense 360. China's People's Liberation Army, Air Force, has modernized more quickly than any other large force of its kind over the past 30 years. From a fleet comprised primarily of obsolete 1950s-era aircraft designs, it has today emerged as one of the most modern and capable in the world. While the United States and its Western allies predicted an era of unrivaled Western hegemony and military dominance following the end of the Cold War, particularly in the field of aerial warfare capabilities. Proponents of Western hegemony have viewed that the growing capability of the PLA Air Force and the possibility that of China's fleet will gain clear primacy over the coming decade with much apprehension. While the United States and its Western allies predicted an era of unrivaled Western hegemony and military dominance following the end of the Cold War, particularly in the field of aerial warfare capabilities. Proponents of Western hegemony have viewed that the growing capability of the PLA Air Force and the possibility that China's fleet will gain clear primacy over the coming decade with much apprehension. U.S. Air Force Deputy Chief of Staff reflected this concern for planning and programs, Lieutenant General David Nahom, who warned a U.S. Senate Appropriations Subcommittee hearing on Navy and Air Force weapons systems divestments on July 21. He said that the East Asian states' capabilities in the air were growing rapidly. The threat is accelerating much more than we thought back in 2018. China's actions show a sense of urgency, a massive build-up of military power and a willingness to use that power, he said. China notably matched US spending on new arms acquisitions for the first time in 2020, and by 2025 due to more efficient allocation of the defense budget, China is expected to be spending much more on new hardware than the US. Among the new assets, China has deployed which could have significant offensive applications, a new variant of the H-6 bomber armed for both ship hunting and precision strikes. J-20 heavyweight fifth-generation fighters, J-16 heavyweight multiple fighters and the PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile, which is considered by many analysts to be the most capable in the world, 